Welcome to the November show for 2024. In this show, we'll meet our school resource officer, talk about our upcoming cameras, composite playhouse production, wall of fame, awards night, sport highlight reels, a fun game show, and student council updates. I hope you enjoy. With that being said, please like and subscribe. Welcome to TTS, where Trojans talk sports. My name is Jared Durong, and I'm here with Drew Sexton. Thanks, Jared. It has been a great volleyball season, and we've had gotten the opportunity to see some of the highlights of recent games. Upcoming now is Mr. Thane back again for a return and updating us on the current statistics on ongoing sports, game results, and upcoming events for this month. And, and a new addition to this month's show with Mr. Haugen, updating us on the current senior volleyball season. Welcome back to our segment. I'm Emmanuel, and this is Mr. Haugen. Hello, everybody. And I have a question for you about senior volleyball. Uh, well, first off, this is my inaugural, um, I believe, appearance on the show. Hi, Mrs. Garlock. Um, but as for October, senior volleyball has been going pretty good. Um, we have had two ranking periods here in the month of October, um, and our senior boys have luckily um, been able to play themselves into um, one of the top 15 3A boys volleyball teams um, throughout the province of Alberta. Um, that's important because hopefully that is one of our ways into our provincial championships um, at the end of November. Thank you. Welcome back to our segment. Uh, this is Trojan Talk Sports. I'm Emmanuel, and I'm here with Mr. Thane. Hi, Emmanuel. And I got a couple of questions for you today, and um, how things are going for Trojan Athletics. Yeah, so October was a, was a pretty busy, busy month for our athletics. A uh, big one for us was our, our uh, cross-country running team wrapped up their season. Uh, we hosted uh, zone championships early in October, uh, had a great event. Uh, our Trojan team actually absolutely dominated. Uh, uh, zone championship for our 3A team. Uh, we had 14 runners then advance to uh, provincials up in Grand Prairie. Uh, it was a little bit of a rainy day, a little bit of a wet course, but uh, our Trojans did an amazing job, finished fourth overall in the province. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was really good. Um, and then moving forward, um, our volleyball teams are still plugging away and uh, uh, our football is going as well. And my last question for today, what's coming for November? Yeah, so yeah, it's like I said, volleyball is still going on. So our, our grade nines have their uh, divisional week uh, championship uh, this, this last week of October. And then if they advance from that, they have their regionals the first week of November. Uh, our JV teams are in our senior tournament, which is the first weekend in here in November. Uh, and, if, uh, and then they have their zone championship uh, also that first week of November. Uh, our senior teams are, again, hosting our tournament November 1st and 2nd and then have their zones on November 16th. Um, our boys are going down to Lacombe and our girls here are, are uh, first in the league, so we get to host. Uh, and our football uh, have wrapped up uh, their, their season of play. Uh, they have their last playoff game on November 4th against Lacombe. 
Um, and then now we start transitioning into our, our winter sports and basketball and curling are right around the corner. Um, curling has already started. Uh, if you're interested, talk to Mr. Bayless. Uh, and our, our basketball season will uh, we'll get some tryouts going uh, right after our fall break. Thank you, Mr. Thane. That concludes our segment of TTS, Trojans Talk Sports. Hi, my name is Taryn and I'm an 11th grader at a Coal Cameras campus at high school. And today I'm with... Constable Fernhout. Hi, so I was wondering, what do you do in our school? I have many roles in the school. Um, a lot of them are involved safety, so I help with lockdown drills and looking into uh, maybe student behavior that would cause some concern, so we, we further investigate. I'm also a resource to students here at your school, so if anybody's got some problems or some issues and might have a question for a police officer, you can feel free to find me. You can ask at the main desk for Constable Fernout at, or go to my office, which is downstairs. Awesome, and I just have one more question. No more questions. I'll ask the questions around here. You're coming with me. Hi, my name's Cora, and today I'm with our student council president, Olivia. Hello. What did you do in October? So for October, we had a pumpkin pie, a stuffing, and a mashed potato eating contest for Thanksgiving, as well as we had a food drive and the pillar of thanks. For Halloween, we have a theme week and a costume contest. What are your plans for November? So for November, we have a few things planned, but mainly the pillar of remembrance, as well as you can check on our student council bulletin board for more updates. Thank you so much, Olivia, and have a great day. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Kendall, and we're going to talk about awards night. Mr. Kendall, on a scale of 1 to th through 10, how excited are you for awards night? Well, I'm a 10, but actually I'm an 11, because 11 is my favorite number, but I'm very excited to celebrate the accomplishments of our students. Uh, we're having our awards night on November 22nd at 7 p.m. If you are receiving an award, you would have rec you'll receive uh, an invitation in the mail to come that night, and please let me know if you're attending. Awesome. Now, what's awards night all about? So awards involve students in grade 12 who apply to scholarships that are provided through community foundations. And uh, they have an application process where they write an essay and we have a committee that reviews the essay and gives the awards. But we also have awards for highest marks in certain subject areas uh, from last year for our grade 10 and 11s as well. Um, we also will celebrate the grade 12 honors that night. Um, for grades 9 to 11 honors, we'll do that on the morning of November 22nd. So uh, please check the pillar uh, outside the Trojan Zone by the main entrance here for your name on the honor roll. And if your name's on there, you'll come on November 22nd at 845 after attendance on that day. Now, who at ECCHS will be receiving awards? Will it just be students or will it be, will it be staff and students? It'll just be students. Uh, we're awarded and rewarded every day as staff to work with our wonderful students, but awards night is just for students. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Dawson, and I'm here with a former principal here at the school, uh, Mr. Offram. How are you doing, Mr. Offram? Dawson, I'm just doing fine. So nice to be back in this school. Things haven't changed too much, but then I do notice a lot of changes as well. So a lot more technology, like this class that you're, you guys are doing. Oh, that's awesome. So we're standing in front of the Wall of Fame. Could you tell us a little bit about it? You know, back in 2004, close to 20 years ago, we uh, got the idea that maybe what we should do is we should celebrate former students and, and staff members at the school um, in the way of honoring them with a Wall of Fame recognition. And there was, there was two or three main reasons that we did that. One was to celebrate former students had, who had gone on and excelled in their careers, whether it be in the professions or the trades or arts or sports. We wanted to celebrate those people, have them come back to the school. Another reason was that uh, 
it gave us an opportunity to um, bring back former staff members, people who had retired previously and who had never set foot back in the school. Um, we thought it might be a neat idea for some of those folks to come back and see what the young folks are doing um, in the school and how the school had changed since they had last worked here. And the third reason was that we wanted to perhaps inspire some students, you know, walking by these, these pictures and biographies of former um, students and say, you know, if that guy um, went to New York City and became a musician, maybe I can too, even though we're in a, in a relatively small community, a number of real accomplished people have graduated from the high school. So we had a lot of reasons to start the Wall of Fame. Oh, cool. That's awesome. So how could somebody like get inducted into the Wall of Fame? Like I mentioned to you previously, I'm, I can be bought, you know, so if you have some money, Dawson, in a few years you can buy me. But usually what happens is that there's nominations that come forward from the community. We have a really excellent committee of former students and uh, community members, our former staff members and community members. And uh, we sit down, we gather nominations, and then we go through the nominations, and then we decide as a group who we're going to induct that year. And we've had so many good people um, nominated. Uh, and that's mainly how you do it. Uh, there is uh, on the website, on the high school website, you can go into that and there are nomination forms um, that you can fill out and submit to a member of the uh, committee. Cool, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm here with Mr. Bayless. Um, how's it going, Mr. Hey, Charlie. I'm doing very well. Um, uh, we're uh, in the middle of workshop, so we got to keep this quick. Okay. Um, just like two questions, is alright then? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, how do you, uh, how does the class work for students? Like, what do they do during the day? Uh, when students show up, we make small projects at the start, but then we start making bigger and bigger projects, and we end with making some pretty cool big projects that students get to take home and show off to their families and use for years to come. Awesome. Um, would you, how would this class help a student in the future? Uh, well, I try and teach a lot of skills so that when you leave school, Charlie, uh, a student like yourself could use those skills in their house or they could help a family member, or they could fix stuff around their house. So I like to ha uh, have those skills and have students learn those skills so they can use them in the future. Okay, cool, thank you. Okay, awesome, thanks. Hi, uh, I'm here with Avery, Carly, and Madden. I just wanted to ask a couple things. Uh, first, what class are you guys in right now? Woods class. I just wanted to ask a couple things about your project. Can you just describe, you know, how, how you make a project like this? We make it with a scroll saw. Anyone else have any words? We had to sand it after you cut it out. Thank you. Uh, would you recommend this class for other grade 9 students in the future? I do. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm here with... Avery... Lucy and Aubrey. I just uh, wanted to ask a few questions about the class you guys are in right now. What class are you in? Woodworking. Woodworking. How long did it make to make these uh, projects? A long time. Three, 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 three classes or something? Okay. Um, what inspired you to, you know, put what you did, like the words you did on this? Uh, Lucy? My inspiration is Logan Renwick, shout out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Batman. That's, that's why? Yep. Okay. Really uh, she told me to do this. <laughs> she told me to do super. Do you know the secret word of the month? Yeah, it's camel. No, you're wrong. Am I off by lots? Yeah. The secret word of the month is this month? No. Can you give me a guess? I can't. Cookies. No. Good try, though. You know the secret word of the month this month? I don't know. Can you give me a guess? Backpack. 
No. <laughs> Do you know the secret word of the month? No. Can you guess for me? Coconut tree. No. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know the secret word of the month this month? No. Nope. Can you give me a guess? I don't know it. Guess. Mm, repeat the question. What's just guess a word? I say any word? Yes. Yes. Mobile phone? <laughs> no. Do you know the secret word of the month this month? I think so. What do you think it is? Mm, I think it's gonna be iguana. You're right. You get a prize. <laughs> month this month is camel yep that's it that's how we go hey guys I'm Annika I'm with the school administrators and we're trying to see what we're looking forward to in the upcoming month of November first off Miss Newman hello everyone the Camrose Composite Playhouse has been very busy over the last few months preparing for our production of Willy Wonka and that's gonna be from November 29th to the 30th, so we are very excited for that. Very exciting. Next we have Miss Wills. Hello everyone. So thank you to everyone who attended parent-teacher interviews on October 30th. Uh, just to note that if you weren't able to connect with some or all of uh, the teachers um, for your courses, uh, please make arrangements with teachers. Um, at any time, just connect with your teachers if you still want to meet. Uh, we want to say a thank you to our admin assistants who set up a table to help parents um, sign into PowerSchool and to our uh, international program for coming and uh, giving parents information on how to be a host. Um, I think that's it. Thanks. Great stuff. And next we have Mr. Kendall. Hi, Annika. I hope everyone found Halloween to be very exciting. I'm still excited for awards. Awards are coming up November 22nd, honors recognition in the morning, awards in the evening. Uh, check the honor roll in the Trojan Zone for your name and show up for honors in the morning. And then please let me know if you're attending the awards night in the evening. Thank you. Very exciting. And last, Mr. Gao. Thanks, Annika. Uh, on the same day as our awards, we are also doing our Wall of Fame. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate with the community. Uh, previous students that have been here, gone on and had amazing careers. Also to celebrate some staff members that have had some amazing careers here while being at the cameras comp. So in addition to the awards, we're also, it's a day of celebration and our entire school community is really looking forward to that, those events. Thank you. Amazing stuff for the upcoming month. Thank you guys for talking to us and thank you for listening. I'm your host, Guy Osnes, and say we're on Brainwave Battle. And now I'm going to introduce you to our contestants. I'm Liam. I'm Hope. And I'm Nolan. Liam is going to go first. Um, I'm going to go with Compax. 300. Compact 300. One of the courses offered at the comp is FACT. What does FACT oh. stand for? Oh no. Nah. I have no idea. Do you even know what it is? Do you want the mic? Here. I know A is activities. I have an idea. But... Don't help him. Don't help him. Raise your hand if you know the answer. I don't know the answer. I have no idea. Oh, that's like the, like the morning thing. Yeah, like I know what fact is about, but yeah, I don't I actually it is, know, what I don't know what fact stands, stands for. for. Let's give up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. The answer was fitness and crime. Nobody is guessing that. I was not going to get that. Okay, so then I do. Do I go? Okay, um, I'll do sports for 100. Sports 100. Okay. What is the only MLB team in Canada? Dude, you should know. I don't know what the MLB is. <laughs> um, it's the yeah. Toronto Blue Jays, obviously. Correct. Oh, wait, I oh should know God. that. Whoops. Well, okay, not All right, we're going to go uh, Geography 300. We're cooked. Which Scandinavian country has the most islands? Um, I'm probably going to go with Norway. Incorrect. 
Well, shucks. I don't, I don't know. So I don't know Scandinavian, Scandinavian country. <laughs> All right. Can I have another guess then? Go for it. Um, we're gonna go with Sweden. Correct. Nice. Okay. We're gonna oh, go with uh, right. Geography 200. Oh my geography gosh. Geography 200. What two countries have land oh. borders with Canada? Oh, I thought I got to answer first. I would have. Um, I would have raised my hand way uh, faster. United States of America. Yeah. Um. And. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, this is an easy one. Isn't that easy? Huh? <laughs> Here. Wait, isn't it like... Wait, yeah. borders with Canada. Oh yeah. my gosh, Liam. The U.S. and... All right, it's the U.S. and Denmark. Correct. Denmark? <laughs> There's water! Yeah, but it's still a border. Dude, I was going to say that. There's a land. Uh, land. Okay, uh, geography 100. Geography 100. Which mountain range contains the world's tallest peak? Wait, what mountain range? I was gonna say the mountain. Like, oh the the mountain range. What's the mountain range called? Wait. <laughs> um, we're gonna go with the Himalayan. Correct. Bro, what? Dude, why did know? you? Why did we pick no one out of all people? Yeah, we could have had like. I don't know. Case. We're gonna have like Traffic somebody on. else. Okay. Okay, now I'm picking up. Um, I guess we're gonna go with Sports 300. Oh gosh, I have no Which idea. Which country in men's oh. soccer has won the most oh, World Brazil. Cups? Oh. Um, we're probably gonna go with Argentina. Incorrect. What? Brazil, Brazil. Correct. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting cooked right now. Yeah, give me 600 actually. Okay, now you choose one. Uh, let's go Sports 200. Sports 200. Oh, Who God. is the oldest active player in the NBA? LeBron James. Correct. LeBron James. See, I told you I was, this is not going well let's for me. Let's go with Compacts 100. Compacts 100. What class oh. that you need for your diploma teaches you how to manage your career in life? Uh, calm. Correct. So let's go. That's so easy. Let's go. I actually got a question right. Okay, and then obviously comp facts 200. Comp it's the only one 200. left. What is the recommended oh. amount of credits you should earn in grade 10? Uh, we're going to go with 36. Incorrect. 47. Incorrect. Is it? Is it 46? Also incorrect. Oh, wait. No. 50. Incorrect. No, it's wait. not 50. You can get um, 42. Incorrect. 40, 40, 40. Correct. Nice. Liam and Nolan tied. So, we're gonna do our tiebreaker question. No way, I'm smarter. <laughs> How many stripes are there in the US flag? Bro. Um, 13. Correct. <gasps> oh, Bro, nobody's gonna get that. Nolan's our winner, so he's gonna get our prize. Nice. Sweet. Thanks, man. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show. We do this every month, so be on the lookout for next month's show at the beginning of the month.